Now at six from debris cleanup to meeting the community's needs. Recovery efforts continue today in Lewin after a deadly tornado wreck the community after a deadly tornado wrecked the community. Hear from one person who lost everything in the storm. Plus, how do you file insurance claims if a severe storm damages your property? We're on your side tonight walking you through that process. And you can expect another humid night here in the Pine Belt. The news at six starts right now. This evening, WDAM 7 News is proud to be on your side with WDAM 7 News at 6. Well, crews continue to clear debris in Lewin after an EF3 tornado hit that community late Sunday night. Thanks for joining us. I'm Michael Clark. And I'm Carrie Leggett Brown. WDAM 7 spoke with one resident out clearing his yard today. He told us his harrowing story after the tornado destroyed his home. Our Ken Benelli tells us more. So, this is my house. Oh, well, it was my house. Lewin resident Gary L. Pierce and his wife show where they hid in their bedroom when the EF3 tornado hit their home Sunday. It was the most powerful thing I've ever felt in my life. Pierce heard the wind, and he and his wife got down beside their bed. He crawled out into the hallway as the tornado ripped through their home. You know, among the windows breaking and wood cracking, I heard a big boom down the hallway, and I saw my wall coming to me. And I crawled back in, and... And I said, get down, stay down, stay down, baby, stay down. And everything stopped falling down around us. Pierce said, although it only took 15 seconds to destroy their home, it felt like an hour. My wife said, she looked up and said, we don't have a roof. That was after it was over. We don't have a roof. And I said, I know, baby, we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. So it, it, was, it was horrific. When they got outside, Pierce said it took no time at all for help to arrive. I don't know how they gathered the team up so quick, but there were teams coming from everywhere, emergency services, volunteers, um, everywhere, and they were getting people out. While they lost most of their possessions, Pierce is counting his blessings, their lives were spared. Tonight, he's thinking about the family of George Jean Hayes, who was killed in the very same tornado. In retrospect, we made it out, none of us really lost a lot. Everything we lost, we can get back. In Lewin, Cam Benelli, WDAM 7, on your side. And we'll have more at 10 on volunteer and donation needs in Lewin. Well, don't forget, you can donate to the Mississippi Strong Tornado Relief by texting MS Tornadoes to 51555 or by visiting gray.tv slash relief online. And you can find a list of all the ways to donate on our website, WDAM.com. Well, following catastrophic weather in the Pine Belt and other parts of South Mississippi, thousands are starting to pick up the pieces. And WDAM 7's Jay Harrison talked with the Mississippi Insurance Commissioner today about how you can start your claim. After tornadoes ravaged the Pine Belt and parts of southern Mississippi, thousands are wondering what to do, where to go, and who to call on. Mississippi Insurance Commissioner Mike Cheney says it's important for those looking to file insurance claims to do so as soon as possible. Most people try to file their claims after they yeah, get that yeah. very timely matter. Sometimes it takes as much as a week or two weeks. Uh, we give plenty of time for someone to file the claim, but you need to do it as soon as you can. Cheney says it's important to take pictures and accurately note all missing or damaged items, as doing so will speed up the claim process. And as for repairs, only do what's necessary. Take pictures of your damage if you can do that, be able to do so. Contact your insurance agent immediately. If you've got down power lines, especially after these high wind storms that you've had, don't try to re-enter a house if there are electrical lines down just to save your life. Don't try to repair the home. Let that be done after you get the adjuster there to look at your damage. Customers should also be aware of their options, such as programs created by insurance agencies to assist customers during emergencies. If you have to move out of your home and go to a motel or hotel or with relatives, they will give you a cash immediately to attend or go to a motel or stay with a relative and expenses like buying gasoline. It's extra expense to cover you while you're trying to get your home fixed. But most importantly, be safe. Don't try to go back into a home that's been severely damaged because you may hurt yourself. The biggest advice we can give you is use common sense and call your agent and stay safe. 
In the Pine Belt, I'm Jay Harrison, WDAM7 on your side. We'll have more tips for you when it comes to filing an insurance claim on our website after this broadcast, WDAM.com. You can also visit the Mississippi Insurance Commission's website as well. All right, now over to our first alert weather team. All right, Rex, it is really heating up out there, and I know you've got worse news for the rest of the week, right? I do. Yep. I do, but it's <laughs> Thursday evening, He's so it's not that bad. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll have a couple of showers and thunderstorms each day. But they'll be few and far between, but no severe weather is in the forecast for the next 10 days. We need a relief from that, and we're going to get some. Here's a little shower right now. Mainly extension of Prentice down to about Melbourne, Bassville. That's dying out. That's about the only game in town on the radar, so the radar is going to clear up later tonight. will be mostly clear. And the reason why we have dry air moving into the weather picture overnight, so the rain chance is very low for the next 10 days. Guys, back to you. All right, Rex, thanks. Well, repairs could soon be made to a busy section of Interstate 59 in Hattiesburg. It was damaged two months ago when it was hit by a tractor trailer. Well, tomorrow, the Mississippi Department of Transportation is scheduled to choose a con contractor to begin that work, and repairs could be complete in just a few weeks. Charles Harrington has the update. This overpass on Interstate 59 at Highway 49 was hit and damaged by a tractor trailer back on April 24th. We had a overheight load strike, the overpass of 49 at 59, uh, which created about a three foot, four foot hole in the side of the box girder on four, uh, 59, which to where we closed the ramp and the uh, merge lane on southbound 59. That exit ramp and merge lane have been closed since the collision. The Mississippi Department of Transportation has also put a temporary cover over the damage. All this could be permanently repaired in just a few weeks. MDOT is about to select the contractor to make those repairs. We um, are, have been through the uh, advertising process to uh, get a contractor. Um, tomorrow they will award the contract to the lowest bidder. There's a uh, segment of the uh, box girder where the damage to concrete and reinforcement. So they'll uh, replace the reinforcement and then replace the fascia of the box girder and then the deck of the uh, merge lane of southbound 59. I would say that they will start after July the 4th and be have to be complete by July the 31st. Three companies have submitted bids for the repair project. Charles Harrington, WDAM7 on your side. The contractors who've submitted bids are from Madison Lake and Tupelo. Well, the Petal Fire Department needs more people to serve the friendly city. From fighting fires to educating children, the fire department needs eager citizens to join their team. Completing your training now will prepare you for the peak fire season in August. The fire chief says it's not just a job, but an opportunity to make the community a better place. You're looking for a career, something that you can put your time and effort into, and you can feel good about your job and about what you do. The fire service is a very honorable place to spend your time and your career. If you'd like to fill out an application, you can visit Petal City Hall during normal business hours. And a hot and humid forecast is in store for the Pine Belt. I'll have the forecast coming up shortly. Please stay with us. 